Well, it's weird because I, uh, I, was in, I trained pretty hard before last season, um, but my roles changed a lot. You know, last season we had Steve Finn and Neil Wagner running in all day long downwind, so I did the donkey work into the wind. Mm -hmm. And this, you know, wickets around New Zealand are pretty flat now. So I think in first half cricket last year, I averaged 30 with the ball, doing a tough job. Um, and this year, I've had the not so tough job of being the wicket taker. So you know, I get to choose which end I want to bowl from, and I probably bowl more overs. Uh, and I guess the confidence that comes with taking wickets. You know, cricket's a simple game. You put the ball in the right areas long enough and you'll get wickets. So. Also, our culture's really, really healthy. Um, great bunch of guys we play together. You know, we've got a squad of probably 16 guys who are, can do the job. And I think it's really nice to walk in the park having confidence in your teammates that if there's a tough situation, either you'll stand up or they'll stand up. Uh, and I think, you know, when you get on a winning roll, we've lost two, two games out of 20. So you, you get on that roll and it's, it's a good feeling. Yeah, perfect timing for me. I think you know, when I came back from injury was when 2020 started, so it allowed me to build back into bowling. Um, but also, you know, you go out there and you can change a game in two or three overs with a bat, and I enjoy that. I enjoy trying to hit the ball a long way. So probably came at the right time for me. I still wish I was a little bit younger, but to make the most of it. But yeah, I, I love it. It's uh, action-packed, and you're always out there. You're always in the action, whether you're batting or bowling. And as I said, it gives you an opportunity to win the game for your team, which. I think most people play the game to be part of winning sides, but also contribute to that. Uh, I was very raw, um, just ran in and tried to bowl as fast as I possibly could. I mm -hmm. think getting injured was probably the best thing that ever happened to me because you realise A, that cricket isn't everything for you um, and it makes you a better person. And I also think it made me a lot cr better cricketer as well because you know instead of just running in and bowling as fast as I could with no real variations, um, probably a lot more accurate now and a lot more variation so and also maybe work on my batting as well so much better cricketer now. I, you know, the NatWest series with Chris Cairns he helped me a lot um, he got he actually worked hard with me basically on my confidence you know he just said to me every time you want to do something do it otherwise you're going backwards as a cricketer so the NatWest series we won in England and won the final at Lords is one of my highlights of my career but also like I developed as a player during that series because of him and there were times in the series where I bowled a flint off or you know, big names like Brian Lara and Kenzie was always there for me. So yeah, that was that's probably the start of when I realised I was good enough. Um, I'd say probably an eight or a nine. Um, I think most people who play against me probably don't like me on the park. Um, but I like to think if you leave it on the park and have a beer with someone off the park, then it's okay. Uh, I don't think I go over the line too often. Um, but yeah, there's no point in playing cricket if you're not playing to win. So probably the ND boys will vouch for <laughs> I'm reasonably competitive. Uh, I think I spent many hours as a kid bowling in the backyard. So I'd have to say that based on the fact I had no one to bowl to me, it was probably bowling. Uh, and then you realise as, as you play higher levels that wickets are quite flat and bowling leaves you in a lot of pain that batting becomes the fun part of cricket. Um, and I think that's still certainly the reason I enjoy cricket now, because um, you get a chance to pay back what other batters do to you. So I'm not very innovative. Um, I'm not Pete McGlashan like. I certainly don't rely on sweeping the ball. Uh, but I think these days, you know, you can change where you stand in the crease to also be innovative. Um, as a bowler, like you know what the guys are trying to do when you bat. So yeah, I think it definitely helps being a bowler in, the, in that level, because you sort of know what they're thinking and what's coming. Um, yeah, batting's certainly the most fun part of cricket for me. Mm. Uh, I think for a few years I've been trying to get a first class 100. Um, didn't quite get there this year against CD. We played them at Nelson Park and Anna Milne bowled a brilliant spell. He tore us apart in the first innings. Uh, and I came in at a little bit you know, a little bit of trouble. He, you know, he bowled rapid all day long. Um, so I probably appreciate that from a technical side of things um, because it was such a tough period. Um, but probably my favourite innings was quite recent in the 2020 final. Not because I didn't, I didn't get a lot of runs, but just we'd been, I think, the best team all year and didn't deserve to come off second best on the day. Um, and went out there. It certainly weren't in trouble when we went out there, but it's one of those things to finish it in front of a big home crowd at home uh, and see what it meant to the guys uh, and probably. I don't think I want to watch it myself because <laughs> my celebration may be a bit over the top, but it was certainly one of the most meaningful things for me. 
York is probably the most effective ball, uh, but these days guys are so good. Uh, and I know myself, you know, someone who has to bat at the end that if you miss by any amount these days, it, you disappear. And the grounds we play on in New Zealand are so small that you have to have a wide range of deliveries. So I don't think I have a favourite as such because you have to try and master them all. Um, I think my role generally through the middle is to try and keep the batter guessing. So I have to try and mix my vari you know, variations up a lot. I enjoy the back of the hand slow simply because it is such a hard ball to bowl. And again, Kenzie helped me out there. You know, when I first started bowling it, I'd get it right one out of ten times. Um, and he would just say to me, mate, you've got to bowl that 30 times in this session until you get to the point where you know where it's going to land. So that's my favourite ball because it is so hard to master. And as a batter with a seam coming out straight, it's quite hard to pick. But they're a very good side and you know, that's, you know, we've, worked all, we've worked hard all year, all of us as individuals, to win games for our teams. But I think you know, getting the chance to get back to this level and win games for New Zealand and play against these guys, nothing beats it. You know, a couple of years ago I played my last game for New Zealand, you're never sure when you, if you'll get another chance. So to be back playing in front of big crowds against the best in the world is certainly what you play the game for.